This is a cool down. It should be done after your workout or after your sport. And these are all static stretches. Static stretches you don't want to do before you work out because it decreases force production, but it's okay to do after you work out. This first one is just a quad pull. You want to engage your abdomen, keep your knee underneath your hips, pull the lower leg back towards your glutes, and hold. You want to hold all of these stretches for about 20 or 30 seconds. Next is the standing toe touch. To start out, we're just going to cross the arms in front of the chest, keep the legs straight, knees locked, and hinge as far as you can towards the ground, elbows towards the toes. Then, once you find the bottom position, go ahead and release the hands, reach down towards the floor and see how far they go and hold. Next is a 90-90 sequence. To start out with, you're going to have one leg out in front of your hips at a 90 degree bend and your ankle at a 90 degree bend. And your side leg or your trailer leg is also going to be at a 90 degree knee and a 90 degree ankle. Then you're going to drive that trailer leg or side leg knee into the ground and lift that foot up as high as you can off the ground and hold for five seconds. Then lower it back down and repeat five times. After you do that, we're going to cross the arms in front of the chest, lean forward and hold for a few seconds, come back to the middle, turn to the side leg and hinge at the waist as much as you can and hold for a few seconds. Go back through that sequence one more time, hinging at the waist forward, pause for a few seconds, back to the middle and turn to the side and hinge and hold for a few seconds there. Then you're going to finish by maintaining that same front leg position. Maintain that nice 90 degree knee bend. Swing that trailer leg all the way around the front. Pull in on that knee. Give that knee a hug and then look back to that same side. Whatever leg is crossed over the top, you're going to look back to that side. So in this case, the left leg is crossed over the top, so I'm looking back over the left shoulder. Next is the cat cow. So for this one, you're going to have your knees underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders. And for cats, you're going to round your back as much as you can and tuck your chin in towards your chest. Then for cow, you're going to arch your back, extend your chin away from your neck and push your hips out. So you're just going to go back and forth from cat and flow right into cow. Very nice one for the spine. And from this, we'll flow right into a downward dog. So you're just going to push your knees up off the ground. Let your heels sink. Push your hips up high towards the ceiling and drive your hands away. So those three directions all happening at the same time. The heels are sinking while your hips are raising while your hands are pushing away. We're going to move into a 90 degree arm on the wall. So pretty much what it sounds like, you're going to have your upper arm parallel to the ground, your lower arm perpendicular to the ground, make a nice 90 degree angle in the elbow, and then you turn your body against that. So you create a stretch in the shoulder and chest. All right, back bridge, a great one for mobilizing the spine. We're just going to put the hands back behind the shoulders, feet flat, drive those hips up, then push the shoulders and head up off the ground and pause at the top. Then back down slow and in controlled fashion. So again, it's hands right above the shoulders, hips go up, then shoulders, then head, hold at the top, then back down slowly, head, then shoulders, then hips. All right, this one's a heel sit, so you're just going to start on the floor on your with your lower leg, and then just hinge at the knees, sinking those hips straight down, keeping them as square as possible, sink those hips straight down to your heels. So we'll show you the same thing from the back so you can see what we're talking about here. Knees are together, feet are together, and we're just going to sink the hips straight down towards the heels. You can see I've got a little bit of... A hip issue on my left side and so I'm not able to sink it as square as I would like to. Hopefully yours look better than mine but nonetheless it's a good cooling down activity. Next is low back rotation. So for these we're going to lay on our back, bring our legs up to 90 degrees and then just swing them over to one side. 
and then put out the opposite arm. So if you swing your legs over to the left side, you're going to extend your right arm out straight. That's going to create a little spinal rotation, and it's a nice little stretch across the lower back and also the glutes. We'll show you the same thing from the side, so you can see both angles here. So again, back is against the ground, legs are at 90 degrees. We're just going to let them swing over to the right side in this example, and then we'll extend that left arm out straight. Creates that spinal rotation. And last is a standing figure four. This one takes a little bit of balance, so feel free to hold on to a bar or a wall if you need to. And we're just going to sink down into a single leg squat. Cross that opposite leg over the top and gently push down on the knee as you sink down into that single leg squat. Fantastic stretch for the gluten hip. And of course, the same thing on the other side.